I get this question quite often. How much fiber do I need when I have constipation? Should I not have any or should I have as much as possible? This is what we are going to focus on today. By the way, my name is Lancelot and I have dealt with digestive issues in the past like IBS and actually fixed them. Now bear with me for a second because we first of all need to understand what fiber really is and then it's all going to start to make sense why too much makes you bloated and how much you actually need. In one of my older videos I was against fiber but that is because it's typically the only thing you're being told. Increasing your fiber can work for some and there's no real downside in at least giving it a try. So fiber is a carbohydrate that is indigestible, meaning the human body can't digest it, but some of it can be fermented by the bacteria we have in our digestive system, our gut microbiome. A large portion of them is in our large intestine. Now there are a lot of different fibers with crazy names like inulin, psyllium, etc. They can basically be categorized into two main types. One is soluble fiber and the other one is insoluble fiber. And they're really completely different from each other. So not all fiber is equal. And as we will see when comparing them, the amount that you specifically tolerate and need can be very different from other people. And so you can't just go after some recommended value that some website told you. But I'm soon going to tell you how you can find out that specific value for yourself. But first of all, let's put these two types of fiber side by side. So soluble fiber dissolves in water, as the name says, and turns into a gel-like substance in your digestive tract. Now this type actually slows the digestion down. In this way, it reduces sudden spikes in your blood sugar and can bind to things like toxins in the digestive tract. Soluble fiber can often be fermented, so eaten by your microbes, your gut microbiome, and is by the way the one that has been shown to lower LDL cholesterol. But again, just some in that group. Remember we are talking about a group here, soluble fibers group. It's not just one fiber, there are many many different fibers and the names are <laughs> almost endless. Insoluble fiber on the other hand doesn't dissolve in water and typically stays unfermented. So even your microbes they do not eat it, they do not ferment it. It's basically just like a hard material passing through your digestive system. Now there's one thing that it does. It physically rubs on your intestinal wall. And as a result of that, your body puts more water into the digestive tract. It's like a very, very slight diarrhea response. So resulting in softer, bulkier stool and often increasing digestion speed. Now the insoluble fiber is where we can run into some issues. You see there's only so much physical rubbing that your digestive system is comfortable with. And that depends on many factors including genetics etc. And everyone has this limit, this point at which their digestive system just says this is too much, it's too irritated and it will do what it always does when it doesn't like anything diarrhea or at least softer stools and a lot of bloating because if you're getting too much motility you're always getting a lot of bloating now what can then also happen is you get a cramp that depends on other factors but also on this irritation you suddenly get a cramp somewhere and now you're having this diarrhea thing hitting on that cramp that is very painful and of course doesn't resolve your constipation. And also you're getting a lot of bloating up here and there's this cramp and you're just filling up like a balloon but still constipated. Now the question naturally occurs. What type of fiber do I need for my constipation? Usually you need both types of fibers. So the soluble and the insoluble. You see, you need the insoluble for the extra water, for the extra bulk. And the soluble is very important for your gut microbiome. And even though it slightly slows down the digestion, it's not going to be that bad for constipation. You see, your gut microbiome is very important and constipation can also point at a messed up gut microbiome. Now, most foods with fiber also have both types of fiber, but the ratio in which they are can vary. For example, oats typically have more soluble fiber than insoluble. But that is not why I told you all of this. First up, 
it's important that you understand what fiber really does. And second, it's important that you understand that your fiber limit typically comes down to your insoluble fiber limit. Soluble fiber has less of a limit and can be important for supplementation. Anyways, how can you find out your fiber limit now? First of all, slightly increase your fiber intake via food. You can have certain intolerances to certain types of fiber or something called anti-nutrients, so stick to the same foods and gradually increase the variety. Otherwise, you're gonna have no idea what is causing what. I recommend starting with oatmeal because most people have a good time digesting it, but make sure to prepare it properly to make it easier on your stomach. You can check out my oatmeal recipe for that or my soaking guide. And by the way, if you are on a high fat diet, then stick to the same vegetables every single day and then gradually either increase variety or just volume. You should have type three or type four on this chart and no or almost no bloating and gas. When you get more bloating and gas, you know that you're going too far. Too much beans and too much lentils can often cause this. If you don't tolerate any fiber or just super, super small amounts, then this can be because of a bunch of reasons. And if I start to name you the dozens of possible causes, it's just way too complicated, okay? I recommend you reach out to someone that is specialized on that topic because that saves you a ton of time, a ton of money, and honestly, a ton of pain. You could, for example, reach out to me. As I said earlier, I've dealt with these issues in the past and helped other people. If you're interested in that, check the video info. Additionally, when you've reached your dietary fiber limit and you're still constipated, you can think about getting a soluble fiber supplement. Because as I said earlier, your insoluble fiber is usually the limit, but your soluble isn't, and it's gonna help your gut microbiome to heal further. Just make sure that your supplement is actually soluble fiber. Usually just a quick Google search can do it. Is X soluble fiber? And aside from that, make sure to look into other directions because typically a lack of fiber is only one of the many causes for constipation and it's becoming extremely common these days. Oh, and also make sure to go organic because pesticides destroy your gut microbiome. Now I'll link another video about constipation right here and see you in the next one.